Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? Let's discuss this, man. Cameron, Cameron, Cameron went on C and N and acted a fool. Had this lady shook, man. Check this out. Thanks for being here. First, when you saw that video of Diddy, Cassie uh, in that hotel, did you recognize that Sean Combs? Um, but I want to say, first of all, when I seen the video, um, everything in the video is a good You see how he started off aggressively. First of all, I want to start off by saying this. She was in for it. Look at her face. Like, what the fuck is this? I'm against. Uh, I don't support uh, all the charges that's alleged against him. I don't support any of that trafficking, minors, uh, domestic violence. I'm totally against it. So when I seen the video, yeah, I was kind of upset with it. Uh, no, being that I know him, he's not necessarily a friend, but yeah, I was upset when I seen it. But did, did you recognize him? I just said, did not let her get a word in, man. you recognize that I'm kind of like, anger at all from your experiences? I don't know like that. What do you mean do I be recognized? Do I recognize him? I've seen him. What do you mean my experiences? I've seen him and I thought I thought it was disgusting. I didn't do a zoom in to see if it was really him or nothing, but he admitted it was him, so yeah, it was him. What did you think about the apology that he gave in that other video? Ain't me for this. The apology ain't for me to decide. It's for Cassie, <laughs> he is giving her a hard time. Go look up his sixty-minute interview. He was acting a fool, also about the no, no snitching code. Man, this this guy is funny. What I what I think about it don't matter. He ain't do nothing to me. Cassie needs to need to ask Cassie if she accept the apology. I told you I feel. I said what I said. I want to play a conversation that you had on your podcast back in September with Mace. Listen. Yeah. When you had your record deal, why did you take me to Biggie Smalls and not um, Bad Boy? Man, it's almost going to bring me to tears to say this. I just, being that I saw you as, as such a good friend, I want to put you with somebody I knew with. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. A lot of people ask me that on Instagram. Yeah, I knew oh, I... It's crazy. He he knew Puff wasn't wasn't shit, really. When you think about it. Instantly, That's why you're crying and shit, man. I don't want to get emotional knew, in here, man. Instantly, I knew Biggie would would do right by. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I mean, is there? Um, is there something known in the industry about? How this part is like hilarious. Promoting his product. <laughs> Promoting his product. Of course, power. Treated his artists. <laughs> Look at her face. So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. Um, I'm just going off with me. What? What is she thinking? Like this motherfucker is tripping. Did he really say he's about to go get some? After this interview? <laughs> and Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what Mace said. And of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. But my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there, but for me to tell you mm -hmm. how Puff acted on that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Facts. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that I was writing into. Yo, who, yo, who booked me for this joint? Right. She's ready to get this shit over with, man. Bye, dude. Bye, bye. Get, get, get out of here, man. Get out the camera. Thanks, yeah, thanks, thanks for joining us. Thank you for your time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yo, thank, yo, thank you for having me. You <laughs>
So Cam did come on this show and respond to Gruden on CNN. Check it out. I, I came, I, no, I didn't even go home last night because I had went to the studio. I washed up though, so I'm good. I ain't gonna say none of that. But <laughs> yeah, man, you know, um, you was gonna say something? Oh, no, I seen your hand. Yeah, no, they invited me on the show to talk about uh, what's going on with Diddy and all that. And then my my thing about it was, May stat is that they didn't invite me on to say about how successful our show is, all the positive stuff we do in the community, how every day, five days a week, Mace talks to kids on the Zoom call. Mace doesn't even promote this. I'm going to promote this for Mace. Is that every day at 5 o'clock, it don't matter what's going on, what's happening, um, where he's at. It, does, it could be money involved. It could be a photo shoot. It could be whatever. He stops what he's doing to talk to kids around the world about being positive and um, doing what they believe in and so on and so forth. And to the point where, you know, one day he was at my house and he told me, Kim, you can't make no noise. Don't come here. I'm not playing with you. Like, that's how serious. <laughs> no, but seriously, that's how serious he takes what he does. And we do all these positive things. And you call me on CNN for the bullshit. I'm going to give you the bullshit. That's, that's just what's going to happen. So we got some. You ain't never lied about that one. Free promo. I, a tease to pink horsepower. Uh, they tried to bring up when Mace uh, bought me the biggie instead of Puff, and I say, yeah, if, if you seen it, what you asking me about it for? Like, nigga, it was self-explanatory. So I, I got us some free promo. I didn't get to shout out to Dipset Couture. Make sure you go <laughs> online to <laughs> dipsetcouture.us to order some shirts and everything else. But yeah, I just felt that you tried to use me, pause, to... Uh, whatever did he going through the down him and listen the video I don't support it I don't believe in domestic violence I don't believe in uh, anything that has to do with being a pedophile I don't believe in sex trafficking I think so he, he had to say that to get it clear I don't believe none of that shit what I seen the video was egregious and the, and the charges are, um, fucked up they really fucked up oh wait but nigga I said what I said I gave a disclaimer at the beginning and we got on the commercial that was that that was that, so that's how that went yesterday, man. I don't know why they, they didn't watch 60 Minutes. They didn't watch Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> Classic interviews he is, he is talking about. Go check him out. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do on them joints, boys. <laughs> Y'all keep inviting me up to Fox, CNN, 60 Minutes. Y'all already know what the resume is with them shows with me. But uh, yeah, that's what happens to that.